Brian, this is Joel. It's sure good to see you for this lesson. And there's the setup on the left there, so much better than what you started with a few weeks ago. Even with the stronger grip, that face is still real open, but I don't want you to worry about that quite yet. Face is real open right through that backswing. And then right there as well. And you're closer to being on that plane line than we saw a few weeks ago. But as you saw during the lesson, as you got better and better with that, <coughs> excuse me, as you got better and better with that, Brian, the ball flights started improving nicely. Something wasn't that great. But then as you went, it's getting a little closer there as we went through the lesson. There you go. That's closer, buddy. And you saw how the ball flights immediately responded to that, too, Brian. Much better right there. And they started feeling a little more solid. So that was good news, but they really started feeling more solid. When you start doing this drill, keep those feet flat on the ground. <coughs> Excuse me. Keep those feet flat on the ground. Nice to see the bird flying through there, huh? Look at that. Well, so, and then this is how that drill looked from the face on angle. And immediately it started feeling a lot, much smoother to you, much, much more solid through impact. And on the video, the release started looking better. Uh, your hips started looking a lot better. You see there how your hips have stopped. That's part of the reason that looks so much better. Instead of those hips moving through impact right through there when you started out, Brian. And again, you see how the release is starting to look better right there at impact. Not perfect, bunny stretch, but definitely better. You're more behind the ball on the new blue there with the drill. A lot of good things going on when you're doing that drill, Brian. So that is absolutely, man, what you want to give a lot of attention to the next week or two. Hit a lot of balls with that drill <clears throat> where you keep your feet flat on the ground. And immediately you ask, like a lot of guys do, is, gee, how do I incorporate that in my full swing? And what we saw is, again, I want you to appreciate that it really doesn't look that much different than normal full swing. In fact, it looks better than your normal full swing in so many ways. Man, that looks a ton better there, Brian. So just hit a lot of balls, that feet flat on the ground drill again. The next couple weeks, remember, you analyze batches, not shots. This is where you started. Too much looseness there, man. And then as you got through the, the lesson, you got to get on plane better. Better and better and better. That helped instead of that being above the plane there. So that helped. But again, you kept mentioning that it just didn't feel good through impact. And because of some other things went on in your swing, I said, man, I think he needs to do that feet flat on the ground drill. And it really did help you in many, many ways there, Brian, to do a lot of better things in your swing. Almost too many to mention here. I didn't want to mention them all to you the other night either. There's a million different ways I can show you why this is so good for you, Brian, as you keep working on it the next few weeks, next couple months. Suffice to say for right now, though, man, it looks a ton better on the regular video. And it felt a lot better to you, and you started getting a lot more solid contact and better ball flights. Thanks so much.
This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around meddling. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's a down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have the face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment. And we can get your swing from down to the 1 20th of a, 1 120th of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, we, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from cuttersedge.com. So when you hit your full shot, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn the certain fields in your golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. And then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get time, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or, if we get pretty satisfied and things are looking better on the video here and we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is for the front, back, and middle of each green. And again, the covered area here is heated. So we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said. It enables us to see some ball flight. And then we get satisfied with things looking the way we want. And we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking to make sure that you understand it. And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here. And then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter. And then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsuds.com. Take care.